Hello, this is Leslie Walker Hirsch for Glass Alliance New Mexico. And today it is my extreme pleasure to talk with Roddy Harris. Roddy is a glass collector extraordinaire and an artist maker and talented jewelry designer in her own right. So I'm happy to speak with you, Roddy. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Great. So let's get started. What okay. first got you interested in glass art? We were living in Detroit, Michigan. Um, Steve was part of the automotive industry. And I saw an ad in the newspaper um, advertising uh, an exhibit by Dale Chihuly. <coughs> and it fascinated me. So I said, well, I'm going to go. So um, I went, and it was unbelievable. <laughs> There's a long hallway that's shaped as a tunnel. And on the ceiling, Chihuly had an exhibit um, of his glass. And it was just magnificent with the light reflecting on it. And there were his sea foams. So it was quite a large exhibit. The, the, um, it's like a big tunnel. So you walk through from one area <coughs> to another. And I, as I was looking at it, it just struck me as so extraordinary. Each piece was just illuminated by light. So, so is, is that... At, at the end of the tunnel, there was another exhibit, and that was of his machias. So I just fell in love with just the way that his pieces were so large in comparison to anything I'd ever seen before, and the colors were just extraordinary. So is that where you learned about the unique properties of glass as an art form? Actually, we were building a house in Santa Fe, New Mexico at the time. And um, we had an opportunity to purchase, excuse me, to purchase one of Dale Chihuly's chandeliers. So we had a chance to meet with him and um, experience what it was to create this glass form. Wow. And so is that how you began your glass collection? That's how we began our glass collection. Start at the top. That's my motto. So I asked, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I asked Roddy to pick a piece of glass from your collection to show and talk about. I can't even imagine what you would choose. Oh, yeah. It's the chandelier. It's wow. by Chihuly. It's five feet across and 14 feet high. It has 500 pieces in it, and each one is, is just amazing because it's done in different colors of red, so when the light hits it, it like explodes. It's amazing. It's totally amazing. And I can testify that it is amazing, and it's really big and tall and gorgeous, just like you, Roddy. Uh, thank you. So, Roddy, um, what advice would you give to glass art collectors that they would never even find in a book, but that from an individual who knows from the inside could give them? I think you have to be passionate about what you buy. So it's not, ex it's not really anything that you can express. It's if you look at something and it touches you in a way that, you can't go away from it. You know, it's, 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 we buy pieces that we love, whether it's art or glass or uh, sculpture, whatever it is, we enjoy it because we have a passion for it. And it just lights up our life when we see the piece every single day. And isn't that what art is all about? What you want to see and feel every single day? Absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure to speak with you this morning, and I'll look for you in the Glass Alliance newsletter. Thank you so much, Roddy. We'll oh, talk again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.